Hello everyone, this is Varsha and welcome to Programming Knowledge. So today we are going to learn about the drop down menus. Now uh, basically a drop down menu is a menu that offers a list of options and we can select one value at a time. For example, here you can see this is the drop down menu. I can select any one value at a time. So this is called a drop down menu. Now we will handle the drop down menus with the help of a special class called as a select class. Because here you can see when I inspect this element, I can see the select tag. So that is the reason why to inspect this to select values in this drop down menu, I'll be using the select class. Now the basic syntax of select class is that select, I'll create a reference of this. New is equal to new select and I will specify my web element over here. So this is the syntax of select class. Next there are different methods of select class. We'll be covering all these methods that is a select by index, select by value, select by visible text, deselect by index, deselect by value, deselect by visible text, get options, get all selected options and get first selected options. The deselect by value, deselect by index and deselect by visible text only works for the multi-select box. So what is multi-select box? We will cover that also. Now there are different types of drop down menus and we will be uh, learning how to inspect all these menus. The first is the drop down menu with a select class. We have seen that example now. Next is the drop down menu with the multi select options. And then there is a drop down menu with a bootstrap. So uh, here you can see this is a drop down menu with select class. Here you can see there is select tag and this is the multi select. I can select multiple values over here. Okay. So this is the multi select list. So we'll be inspecting these two lists first and then we will learn how to inspect the bootstrap list. Now, uh, when we are inspecting the drop down menu, the first thing that we'll do is first we'll find how many options are present in the drop down menu. We will extract all those options and then we will select the options from the drop down menu through, through three methods. The first is a select by index, select by value and then select by visible text. Okay. So just open your IntelliJ idea ID first. Now I have already created a Java class. I have named it as selenium tutorials under package com.selenium and I have given three commands that is open the Chrome browser. I have given the key that is the webdriver.chrome.driver and the value that is the executable Chrome driver file. Then next I have written webdriver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Here I am launching the Chrome browser. Next I am navigating to the URL. So I have specified the uh, URL over here. This is the page that we will inspect. Uh, first I will inspect the drop down menu and then we will select the uh, multi select list. Okay and then I am maximizing the browser. Now first to handle drop down menu first we will use a select class. Over here I am going to write select. I will create a reference variable. So I will write select element new select. And here I will specify the web element. Now there are two options over here. Either I write driver dot find element by dot xpath and I will specify the xpath over here. I will inspect this element. Here it is. And here in selectors up I can see the relative xpath. I will copy this. This is the first option. The second option is the second option is if I copy this. I'll simply copy, I'll just copy this and I'll give a variable that is the web element. I'll write here drop down is equal to driver dot find elements by dot x path and this is the x path that I have given over here. And here I'll write select then I'll write select element I'll give a reference variable. I'm just showing you the different ways you can use the select class. Then new select and here I will specify drop down that is the web element variable that I have created over here okay so these are the two methods you can use a select class I prefer this one so I'll just comment this and we will continue with this one okay so here I've written select I've created a reference variable that is a select element is equal to new select and I have specified the web element that is the location of the drop down menu now here after creating a select class we will find how many options are present in the drop down menu. So here I'm going to write select element dot get options. Okay. So your uh, get options belongs to the select tag and through this option we will retrieve all the 
options that are present in the drop down menu okay now here i will store it in a list type of a web element i'll name this web element as options and is equal to select element dot get options now here i will print so i'll write s out i'll write options dot size now why i'm using the size function over here is because i want to return the number of elements in the list i want to see how many number of elements are present in the list okay then we will extract the values so let's run this my chrome browser is launched it's navigated it's maximized here uh, there is no value displayed because we are not selecting any value right now we have just seen there are total eight elements that are present over here let's check if i inspect this here there is eight element that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 there are total eight elements that is present over here okay here you can see it so the next is that we have to print them so for that we will be using the for each loop here i have written for and over here because i'm inspecting the web element so i'll write the web element and i'll give it as a, i'll give a variable as e and here because i have to print the options that are present so i'll write options over here and then i'll write uh, system dot out dot print ln i'll write the values are and here i'll write e dot e dot get text so let's execute this my chrome browser is launched it's navigated it's maximized and here you can see the values that is there please select then we have sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and here also we can see these value please select sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday okay so these are the values we have printed the values now uh, now i want to select them i want to select these options okay so there are three methods to select these options the first is select by index then it is select by value and next is select by visible text these are the different types of methods through which we will select the options in the drop down menu okay now let's use first select by value now here select by value when i inspect this element I can see option value. There are different types of values given over here. That is the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Here it is written option value Friday, right? So I'll be using this value to select this option. So for example, if I use Friday, I'll write select element dot select by value. and i'll specify the value over here friday okay now let's run this my chrome browser is launched it's navigated it's maximized and here you can see the friday is selected here you can see day selected friday the values are printed we have got the total number of values that is 8 and then the values are also printed and friday is selected this is the first method the next method is select by index now for example suppose if i want to select tuesday okay and these are the options that are present over here to select by index it starts from 0 so this will be 0 1 2 3 tuesday will be 3 so i'll be writing 3 over here so first i'll write select element dot select by index and i'll specify 3 over here now let's run this my chrome browser is launched it's navigated it's maximized and here you can see the day selected is tuesday okay so the next method is select by visible text okay over here visible text means if when i'm inspecting this element the text that is visible over here here you can see there is text sunday monday tuesday now uh, it is not necessary if the value and the text that is visible here is the same okay here in this case it is same but it is not it is not uh, compulsory that the value and the uh, visible text is same so for example now if i want to select monday so i will just copy this visible text monday over here and i'll paste it over here i'll write select dot select by visible text 
and I will paste it over here. I'll comment this and I will execute this. My Chrome browser is launched. It's navigated and here you can see the day selected is Monday. So now these are the different ways through which we can select these options. Now, if in the interviews they ask how to handle drop down menus, I have divided this answer into different steps. So the first step is that to handle the drop down menu, we will use the select class. So first we will create a variable of web element type and pass it as a parameter in the select class as we have done in the example before. I have uh, created a variable of web element that is the D and driver dot find element by dot ID and I have specified the location of the drop down menu over here. Next, I have created a select class. I have also created a reference variable of this that is a drop down list is equal to new select and I have passed the parameter of web element type that is a D over here in the select class. Now, this is the first method. The second method is that if we see if we write select drop down list is equal to new select and we write driver dot find element directly, we write driver dot find element that is also fine. Okay. Then the next step is that we will find how many options are present in the drop down menu. To find that we will write drop down list dot get options dot size. Now we can extract all the options in the drop down menu in the selenium with the help of select class method which has the get options method. Now this retrieves all the options of the select tag and it returns a list of web element types. Okay. Get options returns the list of web element types. Just remember that. Now we will extract all the options. We will print them. For printing them, we are using the for loop and for extracting, we use the uh, drop down list dot get options uh, method and we printed it. Next is that we selected options from drop down menu through three ways. First is select by index, then select by value, then select by visible text. So here uh, select by index, you can use the index to select the option from a drop down menu. Basically the index starts for zero. So this means the first options index will be zero and so on. Okay. Now if we write select by index, we will writing, uh, we will write select dot select by index. We will specify the index over here. Okay. Next is the select by value. You can select an option by using the value attribute provided for each option in the drop down menu. In the drop down menu, there is an option that is a value attribute provided. So using that value attribute, you can uh, select the option through select by value. Okay, simply just write select dot select by value and the value you want to select. For example, in the value it is given options value is equal to four. So here specify four. Now select by visible text. You can use the visible text to select the option. So if you want to select 2015, you can select the option by visible text. That is 2015 will be written over there. Okay. So just simply write select dot select by visible text and specify the text that is visible over there. So these are the three ways where you can uh, handle the uh, drop down menu options. You can select these options through these three ways. Okay. Now, as I specified, this is the index that is selecting by index. It will start from zero. Uh, this is the select by uh, visible text and this is select by value. There is option value attribute that is being used over here. So you will be using the select by value. Now over here, we will understand what is the multi select drop down list. A multi select drop down list control allows the user to select multiple items from the list. To check if the select element supports the multiple selecting options at the same time or not, we will use the is multiple method. This returns a boolean value that is true or false. Now over here you can see this example. There is multiple uh, options are selected. So this is called a multi select drop down box. Now the is multiple method. For example, over here, this box is not multi selected box, right? So if I write select element dot is multiple and I store this in a boolean type of a variable and let me print this variable so it will return true or false now in this case it will return false because it is not a multi select box so I will write and I will print it now let's execute this chrome browser's launch is navigated and maximized and here you can see the selected day is Monday and the output for this is false why because it is not supporting multiple select it is not a multiple select drop down menu this is a multiple select drop down menu so we'll be using is multiple method in this and the answer for this will be true now 
to select multiple values in a drop down box i'll create a new java class I'll name it as selenium tutorials 16 now i'll simply copy this till printing the values now first i'm launching the chrome browser i'm opening the url maximizing the page i'm creating a select class i'll change the x path over here i will inspect so this is it i'll copy this relative x path over here i'll paste it over here then i'm finding the options present in the drop down menu it will print the number of options and then it will print the values of the options so let's execute this now my chrome browser is launched it's maximized and here i can see the total values are eight and the values are california florida new jersey new york texas these are the values that is present over here now if i want to select them what i'm going to do is i'm going to use we'll be using those options only that is a select by value select by index select by visible but there is something different in this that is a deselect now let's first see if this is a multi-select box or not so if i'll write first i'll use the is multiple method i'll write select element dot is multiple i'll store this in a boolean type of a variable i'll print it and let's run this my chrome browser is launched it's navigated it's maximized and here you will see it's true so this is a multi-select box and now let's select elements so now we will select the values so i'll write first we will use select by index so i'll write select element dot select by index and i want to select this the first index itself so this the index starts with zero so this is the zeroth index that is the california so i'll write zero over here next we will use the select by value method i'll write select element dot select by value your value for new york is new york so i'll just copy this and i will paste it over here now next is that select by visible text so i'll write select element dot select by visible text and i will write the visible text that is present over here for washington it is washington so i'll just copy this washington and let's see whether it's selecting or not so i'll just run this command so my chrome browser is launched it's navigated it's maximized and here you can see there are three values that are selected that is the california new york and washington okay now if i want to go know which is the first selected value so i'll write select element dot get first selected option dot get text i will write this in s out i want to print this so i'll write System dot out dot print and then select element dot get first selected option dot get text. Now the first get first selected option and returns the first selected option in the select tag. Here you can see it is the first selected option in the select tags. And if we don't find it, it will throw the exception no such element exception if the option is not selected. So let's execute this. My Chrome browser is launched navigated so the options are selected the first option that we have selected is california over here you can see the index that we have given zero so the first option that is selected over here is california okay now let's deselect the values for that we'll be using three commas at the uh, deselect by index deselect by value and deselect by visible text so first i'll write um, select element dot deselect by index okay now uh, i want to deselect new york because i have selected new york so i'll be writing 0 1 2 3 new york is the third index so i'll write 3 
now here i'll write thread dot sleep let me give some time and let's execute this my chrome browser is launched it's navigated it's maximized and the three values are selected california new york and washington and you saw the new york got deselected now next we will use the next method that is deselect by value so i'll write select element dot deselect by value now i want to deselect washington so the value of washington is washington so i'll simply copy this and paste it over here okay now let's execute this my chrome browser is launched it's navigated it's maximized and here you can see the three values are selected and the new york and washington is deselected okay now we will use deselect by visible text so i'll write select element dot deselect by visible text and here i'll specify i will now here i want to deselect the california so the visible text that is present over here is california so i'll copy this paste it over here and let's run this my chrome browser is launched it's navigated it's maximized and the three values are selected the new york and washington is deselected okay so here i have used so here i'll write select element dot deselect by visible text and here i'll paste california okay now so run this launch the chrome browser maximize the web page and these are the three elements that is selected california new york and washington and all are deselected now over here the deselect option works only with the multi select boxes it does not work with the normal drop down box that we have it works only for the multi select for example if i work for the multi select box the deselect option then in that case for example over here i'm selecting monday so in this case what will happen if i write uh, select element dot deselect by visible text and here i'll specify monday itself so it will show an error so my chrome browser is launched it's navigated it's maximized and here you can see the day selected is monday but it shows an exception over here while deselecting monday it shows an exception it says that you may only deselect options of a multi select okay so the deselect option works only for the multi select drop down menus and not for the uh, drop down menus with the select class okay so these are the different types of methods that we learned today that is the uh, select by value select by index select by visible text and deselect by value deselect by index and deselect by visible text also we learned uh, the option that is the get first selected options now this works for validation then we have learned the method that is the get get first selected option also so these are the different types of uh, methods that is supported by the select class so this is all for now uh, in the next class we will learn how to inspect the bootstrap drop down menu so please like share and subscribe this video and thank you